world, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi. I'm an obs and gynae surgical trainee in London and I've been on YouTube for a very long time. I think like seven or eight years. I like to vlog my lifestyle and I like to make videos of everything that I'm up to, whether that be work. Uh, when I was in med school, I was vlogging med school, my workouts, hanging out with my family and friends, travel, fashion anything really to do with my life so if you guys have been watching so far thank you so much and don't forget to like this video so that it can reach a lot more people just like you guys who enjoy these videos and if you're new here please also hit that like button now it would mean so much to me and subscribe down below for more i wanted to try something a little bit different in today's vlog before i go into my weekly vlog i just want to talk to you guys in short about something that has come up for me in my life in the past few weeks and that has been uh, important for me to share kind of how I have learned and reflected from this. If you guys like me talking a bit in the start of my videos let me know in the comments. But essentially what I want to talk to you guys about is imposter syndrome. I was telling one of my friends that I have been feeling quite overwhelmed with emotion recently at work and a lot of that emotion is actually positive emotion um, and some of that emotion is emotions that I don't really understand or didn't understand until now and now that I have understood it I would say is definitely imposter syndrome. Um, I was telling one of my friends about it and he was like I've never heard of that before what is it so I will share with you guys what I sent him um, on the screen now but I will read it to you too so there's types of imposter syndrome there's, there's the perfectionist always looking for things to go perfectly slight errors are considered failure which leads to feelings of shame or guilt as the superhero so success is based on how many different roles they can play parent partner boss if they can't play them all perfectly they feel like a fraud the next type is the expert. The, they seek to know everything. In the face of even the slightest lack of knowledge of something, they feel like a failure. The next is the natural genius. They expect to meet high goals quickly and effortlessly, and when things get difficult, they feel very ashamed. And the last is the soloist. So they need to do things alone without help from anyone. And if they need help, it's interpreted as a sign of failure. Any of you guys, when I read this now, Many of you guys may have resonated. There might have been some of you, the lucky amount of you who didn't resonate with this at all. And if that's the case, that's great. There must be something that you guys are doing or a mindset that you guys have that you can share with us in the comments that will be really helpful in our community. Um, but I think, First of all, statistically speaking, imposter syndrome is more prevalent in women than it is in men. So if you are one of the women watching this and you resonated with it, you know, you're not you're not alone by by statistics, it's more common in women than men, but it doesn't mean that men don't also suffer from this. And I will be honest with you guys, of all the types that I read out there, I probably resonated with all of them. The least with the soloist, I don't feel like I have to do and achieve everything by myself. I think the fact that I've grown up in a household where my family are very close-knit and my siblings um, kind of have a similar job to me. My, one of my older sisters is a dentist and the other one is also a doctor, but she's a hematologist. Um, I think the fact that we've had that similar mindset, my mum has always pitted us together, so I feel like that with my friends as well, like anything that I do or my colleagues, I'm, I'm more than happy to do it in a team or a group, it doesn't mean that I feel like a failure if there is a task that's a group thing, but I would say starting my career in obs and gynae this year, um, one of the things that I've suffered with is A, I am a perfectionist and I will admit that out loud that I want to be able to do everything to the best that I absolutely can from every single potential. And the second is that I suffer with the expert type as well of I feel like I should know absolutely everything and one thing that a lot of my seniors, my registrars, my co-workers and my consultants have told me is it's my first year of training and this is why I'm here, right? It's to learn. And that's something that I feel like we should all reflect in our lives is no matter what you're doing in life, a lot of you guys watching this don't even have an interest in medicine at all. So I hope that this makes sense for you guys too. But everything that we do in life, we're always learning and we are always going to be expanding our knowledge. There's always gonna be something new that's out there that we want to learn about. So the main thing that I would say has helped me is knowing that wanting to be a learner and understanding that I'm never gonna know absolutely everything all the time has really helped with me dealing with these overwhelming 
feelings sometimes and emotions and that there's actually power in admitting when you don't know something. If you don't admit that you don't know something, whether that be to others or to yourself, then you are then denying yourself the opportunity to gain that knowledge. And no one is sitting there judging you. And if they are, that's their problem, that's their judgment, and it's none of your business what people think of you. It's very difficult in this day and age where we sit down a lot on social media and we compare ourselves to each other or someone who is sat here like me on YouTube um, and thinking, oh, this person has everything together or they do this, they do that. I need to be like them. It's very hard for us to not be judgmental. And I think that that's something that we need to sit back and reflect on is actually not everyone out there is perfect a eh? and not everyone's opinion matters if we sat down and just tried to please everyone we would lose because not everyone's got the same opinion think about even when you go to a restaurant with your family if you guys all picked the same food then that restaurant would not have a menu it would just be a one dish restaurant right everyone's got differences of opinions everyone's got differences in taste and style you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea and that is fine so knowing that is your power i guess the moral of what i'm trying to say is that in life it's always good to be a learner it's always good to understand that you're not going to know everything but that you're happy to learn more and that you deserve to be where you are because of your hard work and everything that you put into it and that you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea you just have to be your own hot chocolate yeah, <laughs> or whatever it is that you like to drink. You need to be proud of yourself at the end of the day. You need to be happy with your choices and decisions and you need to be happy with your own progress. And if you're mean to yourself, that's not gonna happen. So start by being kind to yourself and understanding that when you're learning in life, whether that's a new workout routine, whether that's a new hobby that you're trying to pick up, whether that's a new dress sense that you wanna do, anything, you wanna start a blog, you wanna, do a creative channel, um, whatever it is that you want to do, you're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but that's fine. And you're not gonna be perfect from the start, but that's fine because you're gonna learn and you're gonna learn from this and you're gonna take it forward and you can only get better and you can only be proud of yourself for trying. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little pep talk on imposter syndrome. If there's another topic that you guys want me to cover in next week's vlog, let me know and let's get started with this week in my life. So I've just finished my morning antenatal clinic. That is where we see all of our pregnant patients here who need some reviews by doctors who've been referred usually by midwives or by other doctors for us to see. Um, this, pre this cohort of patients um, can be anyone who's had any complications during their pregnancy or have health conditions before their pregnancy as well. And this is my clinic room. <laughs> So I've just got home from work and I'm gonna go to the gym. I had a little snack, which actually I should have shown you guys. I'm gonna make it again tomorrow because it was so good and I will show you. But it was smoked salmon on these like Rivita style round crisp breads with cream cheese and black pepper. And it was just something that I was definitely in the mood for and in need of because I'm so hungry. I've got some back pain and I think it's because um, it was a bit colder than I expected today at work and I didn't have my top cardigan until like I wore I had a second cardigan and I didn't wear it until like 12 o'clock so the window was open too and I think the window the wind everything just hurt my back and also being on my period I don't know about you guys but I get back pain when I'm on my period so I don't know if that was another contributor so I've just taken some paracetamol and I'm also wearing my waist trainer and the main reason is because I feel like it kind of tightens the muscles and helps with my back pain otherwise i'm not sure a waist trainer does much for your waist um i used to like using this like in covid times with it's the sweet sweat belt if you guys have seen it before um i remember after i started using it a few months later i saw kylie jenner was using it as well and i've seen her use it a few times in her stories but she doesn't show what brand she's using but anyway <laughs> um yeah i'm using it for that purpose but who knows maybe it does work guys let me know if there's any science behind a waist trainer but i'm telling you guys i'm not sure there is i just fell for the placebo of it a few years back and just using it now to help with my back pain but yeah i'm gonna do it like a light resistance band kind of workout similar to the one i showed you guys in my vlog last week um i don't tend to always do like a light workout but if I'm short on time or if I've 
cut myself like I have today, then that's what we're going for. And maybe a bit of cardio too. See you at the gym. just getting ready for work and I have a training day today so it's like a study day um, and the course is called saving babies lives but it's a lot to do with like pregnancy and looking at like smoking cessation in pregnancy for like um, parent education courses and um, what else is in this course I should know that they've given me a whole itinerary that being said they only booked me onto this course yesterday so I don't know the whole thing off by heart. So we're looking at diabetes and blood clots in pregnancy. We're looking at growth charts, smoking, preterm birth, and looking at how our department um, triages patients who come into like the equivalent of A&E, but for maternity. But I woke up extra early um, to do my work. So I did some research for a research paper that we're doing. I was going over the third draft for that. And then I was doing portfolio work. I'm so sick of saying portfolio work. I cannot wait for my ARCP to be done. For those of you who haven't watched like the past couple of vlogs, my ARCP is essentially something that every doctor kind of needs to do every year to make sure that they're still qualified to work as a doctor. And if you're in training, it's also to show that you are um, skilled enough to go into the next year of your training. So anyway, I was doing that all morning so I have to get ready in a jiffy because I have to leave in like 10 minutes. So let me do my makeup and get my outfit on and I will show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm going to be wearing more like casual clothes today because I'm going to be sitting like in a teaching classroom. So yeah, I'm going to wear something warm because the weather in England has gone back to crappy. Welcome to the UK, no more sunshine. That was like our one week of glory. So yeah, going to wear something warm. And I will show you why I wear. And here we have my outfit of the day. And it's just super casual. I think like if you ever want to look smart casual, top and jeans, but like a nice blazer on top is the way forward. Anyway, after one, let's go to my study day. So it's the lunch break for my revision day and I'm really hungry. I've only had a latte so far today. I'm revising is just it drains your brain. I haven't done it like this, like a lecture format in so long. I don't know how I used to do it in medical school, guys. Honestly, I don't know how I used to back to back, like sit through lectures day after day. I find it so boring is the wrong word, but like my brain needs a break much more regularly than they give you. So anyway, I'm going to go to Waitrose and grab some food. Um, mainly something just for now I want some smoked salmon to have with my eggs and I also want um, maybe some tuna steak for dinner or something like that also on a side note I was going to tell you guys the funniest story um, last week when I went horse riding afterwards I went to Waitrose to get some smoked salmon and it was around like 11 o'clock and then I put the things like the, the smoked salmon stuff down at the cashier belt and the cashier lady literally looked at me and she goes no school for you today. Like it was as if she was like trying to catch me out of a bunking school because it was 11 o'clock on a weekday. And I literally looked at her and I was like, I'm 28. And she was like, oh my God. And I was like, I'm a doctor, like I'm not a child. She was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. You just look so like so young, so small. I was like, thank you. And then a week later, um, I, or a few days later, I went to Waitrose again to grab some wine because Talia was coming around to mine to enjoy the sunshine. And lo and behold, I ended up with the same lady at the cashier desk and she didn't recognize me. And again, I went with no makeup. And she looked at all my shopping and she looked at like the alcohol and stuff and she goes, um, 
is this all yours? And I was like, yeah. She was like, is your mum coming or your dad coming for the alcohol? And I was like, no. And she was like, do you have ID? And I was like, it's me, the 28 year old. And I grabbed my ID and she's like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't remember you, all of that. But it made me laugh so much. And I was wondering, guys, do I really look like that young that I should still be in school? For me, it's an ultimate compliment and must mean that like the PRPs and the facials are working but like I was just wondering do you guys think I look that young obviously with makeup I look older but without makeup what are we thinking how old do I look <laughs> anyway let's go to waitrose Okay guys, so let me show you everything that I got. I got some prosciutto, salad leaves, bell peppers, broccolini, asparagus, courgette. My mum is waiting because I got her um, cheese. So, I've got baby <laughs> bell, Philadelphia, but my mom likes Greek salad cheese. Hello everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what do I have? Italian prosciutto is my favorite. So I got more of that, that's the second one. Then I got two packets of smoked salmon, 70% dark chocolate, and then dark chocolate with orange. Um, that's a new thing for me, by the way. I never used to like orange chocolate, and now I do. Um, and then sriracha mayo, because I feel like this over like anything tunery is nice. And I got some of the Ottolenghi stuff. So this is the Ottolenghi Kalamata olive and harissa sauce that you can pour over like your vegetables or your chicken or something to make it yummy. And then this is a, this is a miso pesto, which I think will be so nice with salmon. I got some tuna some passata, teriyaki sauce, low fat, um, no, low salt soy sauce. Then this is really cool. I don't know if other places sell this, but I'm sure they do. Like in, I would presume if you live in America, it would be like a Whole Foods or something, but this is the yogurt dressed coleslaw. So instead of mayonnaise, they use yogurt, so it makes it low fat. And it literally takes the fat down from 20 grams per 100 grams to six grams per 100 grams. Don't ask me why, I don't usually track grams of things, but I just found it interesting to look to see how much of a difference it would make not using mayo. Not that I'm against mayo, hence the sriracha mayo, but I like coleslaw and I feel like you can eat quite a lot of it, especially if there's one that's yogurt dressed instead. Then I got some diced yellowfin tuna, some sea bass fillets, and some salmon fillets. Some halloumi cheese, clearly I'm a cheesy girl. And the last thing is some chicken thigh fillets. So I don't usually buy so much groceries, um, but I'm gonna be home for the next three days for this course. And then on the weekend, I don't really have any like plans as well. So I'm gonna be trying to eat at home where I can, just because I feel like, A, I'm not bad of a cook, so I can cook nice food. And two, it stops me from eating out and eating unhealthy. Um, when I have options to have at home. Um, often I do eat like what my family is eating, but sometimes that's just not what I'm fancying or it's not really like the healthiest. Like last night or the night before my pet, pet my dad made this Afghan kawali polo, which is like rice fried with like carrots and raisins and everything and the chicken is fried and it's all fried and I just didn't want to have that. So yeah, it's good to have some options. Now I'm going to make myself some, um, scrambled eggs with avocado and smoked salmon because I'm really craving it and I need to do that quickly because I need to log back on to my course in 15 minutes.
پیتزا بعد وقت گذاشتش تو آوان بعد, بعد از یک ده دقیقه تو آوان شد مثل بیسکویت مثلا اون قد پنگ کرد و شد این بیسکویت نون بعد وقت توش ساندویش گذاشت پت چیز گذاشت هرچی میخواست اون میکرد دیگه به جنگ نون چرد دیگه خیلی از بس پن... پنیر داشته تونست نگر داره اون شیطه شد and here is my brunch mm, 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 mm. this is exactly what I was craving guys can't explain to you see you after revision look who I'm training at the gym guys <laughs> look let's see if she trains because My whole family is eating chela kebab for dinner and I'm having tuna teriyaki. And my mom forgot to make me vegetables. Mom! Joanna, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, I asked her to make me vegetables because I wouldn't, like by the time, I was so hungry when I came home from the gym that I wouldn't have time to like wait for the vegetables to boil because it takes half an hour and she forgot. So I'm gonna have it with salad. With some salad. And that's gonna be my dinner. I'm so hungry, I haven't even changed, I know. I need to go change, I need to go shower. But I'm gonna eat my dinner and then I'm gonna go wash my hair and everything and go to bed. So, good night and I'll see you tomorrow. All of the major structures of the body are, the CNS is actually the first system of the body that begins to develop with actually this and the, the development most properly called the patient is usually fast and um, within the back and it's complete as always. So it is Thursday, day two of me doing this online revision course for my exam and I'm really hungry. It is, I think, 12 o'clock. I had a latte for breakfast. I wasn't that hungry when I woke up and now I'm going to make my like brunch. I'm going to make the same thing I made yesterday, which is scrambled eggs with smoked salmon and avocado because if it's not broke don't fix it also i got this jumper when i was in vegas with sign if any of you guys have watched the vegas vlog vlog we were watching the f1 and we got cold so we went and bought matching um, mercedes jumpers same thing again even my dad's in the background again <laughs> mm -hmm. So my mum and I have come for coffee right before my horse riding lesson. There is a coffee shop inside the riding school. It's so cozy. Yeah, <laughs> it's really sweet. And we're just watching um, the people who are in the lesson before we have their riding lesson. Um, but I was telling like my mum, horse riding in general is such a nice thing to do and it was something that I always wanted to do. Some things that were putting me off is A, it's quite expensive. Yes, it's £120 an hour where I ride, um, which is a lot of money. And I'm 28 now, I'm like a full time doctor. And even then, when I think about it, like in proportion to my salary, £120 an hour is a lot. Yes, it is. It, so if you guys moved, my memory card ran out of space. But yeah, I was saying it's quite an expensive hobby to have. So I think that that's one thing that like is a bit of a barrier to the sport. Otherwise, it's such a beautiful sport. Uh, some people don't live close to a stables. I'm really lucky the stable is a one minute drive from my house, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we've got two stables like next to each other. So like, it's very close. Yeah, I have that, which is really lucky. But in general, I feel like don't. Don't be upset if you couldn't do something before because you couldn't afford to because 
then when you can't afford to do it, you'll it's do it. For most of people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then when you can't afford to do it, it'll be even sweeter. Never is not late. Yeah, never too late, exactly. <laughs> so what do you want to learn then? What I want to learn mm -hmm. about the horse? Mm -hmm. Oh, in future. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I learned Also came to watch me. I had two spectators. <laughs> God, I look so messy. Was I good? Very. You were fantastic. I'm proud of you. Fantastic. I'm proud of you too. Thanks, guys. Come for breakfast. <laughs> Son and I are having a little walk together. We just had some breakfast and I went to my Pilates class before it. So it's what time is it? One o'clock? It's 12.40. Uh, it's 12.40, so we'll probably be home by 1. And then I just need to sit down and do all of my life admin. I feel like Sunday is life admin day. I know. It's kind of rest, but it's not rest because mentally... I yesterday, find that life guys. Admin's like, mm. Yesterday I was meant to do so much life admin and I had the worst migraine, so I really couldn't. I think that was me really yesterday and Friday, sir. And it was like behind one eye, it was really bad. And I took paracetamol twice. I think I even took ibuprofen as well. And then it just started to settle. Um, but yeah, that's my kind of weekend plan. So I got a PR package in the post and I'm so excited I'm unboxing this. It's from Capsule Comms. So thank you so much, Zena, for sending this to me. The first thing is this anti-wrinkle mask by Dr. Harris. It's current body skin anti-wrinkle anti mask. It looks very, very cool. I can't wait to use that. Some, what is this? Kara Silk Strengthening Bond Builder. I think this is for hair. This deep acting high performance treatment builds new bonds to restructure and fortify even highly damaged hair. Oh, that's really nice. I'm excited to try this. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like a kind of serum almost. So I will be trying that out. I love anything for hair, as you guys know. Then we've got some Sculpted by Amy Cream Blush. This is in Peachy Pink and Dusty Rose. Then I've got Fabu Vitamins and Magnesium. These are the relaxation ones and these are the glow ones. I've actually heard about these and I'm really into taking vitamins. This one is reishi mushroom and amino acids with vitamins and zinc. And this one is vitamins and magnesium with ashwagandha and bot botanical extracts. I'm going to try these out and let you guys know how I get along with them. Bubbles Daydream Cream. Very nice. Some more sculpted by Amy Primer. I need a new primer actually so I'm going to try this out. 
Then we've got some patches. Oh my God, guys, patches actually saved my life. I need one now because I have a spot here. Then I've got some tomato firming serum by Byro. By I like the packaging on this one. Very cute. And Batiste, guys, <laughs> saves my day as a doctor. I've got some moisturizing cream and then this sun mist, guys, by Sculpted by Amy. This sun mist, I've actually tried this before, is so good. You just spray it on your face and that's your SPF done. So if anyone's looking for something for summer that's perfect, mm. go for that one. And then I've got some lip liner and shine. But yeah, thanks guys so much. So much stuff that I'm excited to try and I will give you guys a progress on how I like it. This weekend, Sina and I spent some time together and we actually, did we vlog it? No, we didn't even vlog. I don't vlog anything. We, we spent so I much feel, time together. I feel shit. I feel so... Uh, a shame. <laughs> Basically, we hung out and we didn't vlog it, but here we are hanging out now. We're doing it. So today is Sunday and we are going to book our holidays today for summer, guys. Ah, uh, rude. I'm light. So. I'm a light gal. So yeah, I need to book. No. We need to book our summer holidays to sign. Oh my God, I need to do so much stuff. I just feel so lazy. I don't know. There's like... something about just having that one day or two days off. I've become overwhelmed with like how much work I, I have to, to do. do. And I then like... because of that, I end up doing nothing. Yeah. Like, you know, whereas I need to sit down and write it down. I've realized what helps done. me is if I wake up early before work and just tick off a few things. No, not about being tired, but like just tick off a few things from my to-do list and that just makes me feel less overwhelmed in the you're day. So, you're such an inspiration though, honestly. Like, I see you fun. sit down and study and, oh my God. I'm gonna end this vlog here, guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It would mean so much to me and subscribe down below. Let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about in the next vlog or show you guys and I will see you next week. Bye.